Yes, what up? <laughs> Organic, man. We sir. meet we meet again. Yes, sir. The legend is in the building. Oh my God. King of the Dot Grand Prix in the North Division was a really, really good Crazy, event right? all the yeah, way North through. The North, yeah, North been killing it. So you got legends in this bracket. You got up and comers. You got rising stars. You got people. Champions. You got champ, a newly crowned champion. Shout out to Stack Boy Chuck. You, yeah, real deal. Oh, man, just talk about. I want to take it back to the beginning real quick, and I won't take up too much time. Forming this this North Division, like, yeah. how did that? What was the process like? Like, it's tough, bro, because there's so much talent in what I like. The North, the compass, like, we set this up off a of, off of compass, right? So the North was kind of compromised of like Toronto, Detroit, Chicago, you know, um, maybe like Philly and Pittsburgh, just anything we can kind of fit in that region. So when you look at all the talent that surrounds that, it became like extremely difficult because I wanted to have a mix of like vets and then people that I felt deserved the look mm -hmm. so we could build for our future as well. Um, honestly, I'm so happy with the way it came out. I think Jonah was probably the biggest surprise for that. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, it didn't work out, but um, you know, we tried, we tried to make it happen. At least we got the announcement out so yeah, yeah. for a minute, yeah. but you know, um, a little bit of heartbreak there, but you know, people like Shimon, people like Marlboro, like I've looked up to they, their style, they're just how they conduct themselves as battle rappers and as human beings and everything. Man, mm -hmm. It's just an honor being able to play a part in their careers, even at this yeah, state of the game. People like Times getting the respect they deserve. People Absolutely. like City making a name for himself again. It's dope, bro. This is Detroit is so tapped in with talent, man. It's dope to see it getting the look. It's, it's, it's over, you know, it's over deserved. Yeah, yeah. Long overdue. I'm so yeah. proud that my city was... I'm just so proud that you was able to come here and put something in the city like this. And um, I'm going to take it with uh, Stack Boy Chuck, for instance, versus Michael Ice, two yep. local talents. Might have been, over been overlooked, but they brought it. They brought it. I love when, when shows open up with something. You can yep. be like, okay, now I'm locked in. Uh, and that was kind of like it's a, great. Like a OD testament to kind of like Detroit itself. You know, that we know that's been a battle a lot of people in Detroit have been asking for mm -hmm. due to COVID, all the events and everything. So, you know, shout out to Esmo, you know, putting up the belt on it, making it a little more special and everything. But mm -hmm. I think Stack Boy and Ice really deserve that shot. You know, they've been putting on for a long time. They've been working hard behind the scenes, in the scenes, not behind the scenes, but like not getting the public spotlight that a lot Absolutely. of these battle rappers get. And a lot of fans overlook what that grind is really like. Yeah. You know? So the people that are still pushing through that after five, six years, when they get that fucking look man you can't take it from them they've earned that they deserved it they worked for it they mm -hmm. put in their time this isn't something they stumbled across and were just handed to you know what i mean like ice and chuck have put in years of work to earn that opportunity so it's a good look man yeah i'm ha happy i'm happy for both of them to get this opportunity because twitch is a big deal it was thousands upon thousands tuning in yep. and a lot of people now know who they are and this can help them get booked all over the world if, yep. if they want to. Um, and then you talked about Jonah, but a blessing in disguise came from that yeah. in, the, in the form of city. a city. Yes. So, yeah, unreal, man. Yeah, so, man. yeah he, he was locked in. Uh, yeah. I, I like his demeanor. Like, he's very quiet when it's time, but it's showtime, and then he yeah. turns it on and goes full throttle. Just talk yeah. about your conversations with him, getting him into the tournament. and. Um, for, shout out to Gully, you know, Gully's been like my right hand booking a lot of this Shout stuff. out to so, Gully, um, for sure. You know, Gully's a workhorse behind the scenes, and I know I get a lot of props that probably deserve to go, you know, my team members' way. So, you know, I don't want to take credit for stuff I didn't personally do. Mm -hmm. um, we knew City was an option because when Joe and I gave me that call, literally, I seen City make a status on Facebook like a day or two before. So, right away, it was like, yo, Gully, this just happened. <laughs> Should we holler at City? He's like, yep, let me do it. And then, like, five minutes later, he's like, he's down. Wow. Like, Bro, that was... We had the solution before I even told the rest of the team the problem. You know that what I mean? So crazy. that's kind of the way it's been. You know, Direct kind of made me move that way because he was that way in the South. He would have a problem in the South. And by the time he would even call me, he's like, here's the problem. Here's the solutions. You that's know what so, I mean? So, so that's critical. what's been really dope about all this, bro, is like the teamwork. You know, like I said, from working with Ruin Your Day, working with the different division reps, it's like really kind of like forming like uh, – like, uh, Fuck, I don't even know what you would call it. Almost like a transformer of all people. That, yeah. Like, you know, like hold, a legion. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that hold really respectable Facts. spots in battle rap. And when we all come together to converge and, and, you know, do something, this is the result. You know what I mean? So I'm happy with it. Yeah, and I'm happy with the turnout here. You had some legends. Here. Big T yeah. was here. You had Swine came through. Man. Yeah, man. I know a lot of people, the new battle fans may not know, but I grew up watching Swine. He's a legend to me. You know what I mean? Like 
that's probably my favorite battle rapper when I was young. Was like really? And Iron Solomon. Oh yeah, bro. Like I used to watch. I remember watching him on the MTV battles, and then when mm -hmm. he was battling in Scribble Jam. Like I watched him with Breeze, like all that. Swine was the man to beat back in 2004, bro. Like I remember yeah. when Ilmac beat Swine in 2004. It was a big, it was a big deal. deal because Ilmac was a, nobody knew who Ilmac was. That yeah. was his first come up, right? Yeah. He got in Scribble Jam through I think doing a prelim at a car battle, and then ended up winning the prelims the day before, made him in the final <laughs> battle, and took out the fan favorite who was mm. Swine at the time. So, you know, um, I've, I've been a fan of him for fucking 15, 20 years almost. I can. Confidently yeah. say, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <clears throat> As a whole, uh, with King of the Dot Grand Prix, I mean y'all had Ice T over in the East. Yeah. Like, just talk about like y'all y'all following. It's, it seems like it's stronger than ever. Like yeah. right right now in in a tougher time. He has a lot of connections. He's a great team asset. And I think that's really what it is. It's just we formed a, a mega team where, you know, we have each division on lock. We have regional reps everywhere. So I think it's just really kind of everyone coming together. And when the fans see that too, we're like a lot of people, we were isolated a lot in battle rap. I think mm -hmm. like someone like Direct, who is like a staple, a legend in battle rap. And then all of a sudden you just seem like, you know, um, not to say he wasn't getting the respect he deserved because the people that know always gave him the respect, but he wasn't getting the public the justice from yeah, the I always for called him a, done yeah, for I always called him an unsung hero. When, when this came, this opportunity came about, it wasn't really like, yo, we can do this all ourselves. It was really like, man, like this is an opportunity for us to build with everyone again, put people in the positions they deserve to be in. Poison Penance, bro. I grew up watching like fucking Es many styles versus gin, esoteric versus fucking tone death and shit like that. When I was downloading a Napster, Poison Pen was hosting those battles, 2001, 2000. Mm. Know, so a lot of this is really me, you know, reaching out to people that have influenced me, working with people that have influenced me, and people that have influenced battle rap as a whole. And that's what I think like we really did was put together a team of people that are really solid influencers in battle rap and people that have really put on for the scene and shown that we're about the culture. None of us are here for the grab for the money, you know what I mean? We're Absolutely. Here to build something special and something great. Life is about making history and that's what we're doing. Yeah, man. So now after this, uh, the winners are going on to LA. Yep. To LA, man, that's going to be a crazy, crazy thing, yeah, man. Good uh, for you guys. Yeah, yeah. So shout out to Times, shout out to Marv One, Marv One versus Sharon put on the show. That fan vote. That crazy, bro. That fan, fan, the fan vote. It came down to it. Man. Yeah, that fan, the fan vote matters. So crazy. So people on Twitch, if you're listening, if you're watching, your vote counts. In this, in this race, your vote counts. You know what I'm saying? So um, talk about, is that something you want to continue for the future uh, as far as the Grand Prix? The fan vote is, is crucial, you know, A1 and just getting fans more involved and engaged. And I mm -hmm. think that's what like Twitch is really um, ahead of the game, you know, because you have television and it's live, you know what I mean? And then yeah. you have Twitch, which is live, but it's the user interactive. Mm -hmm. So what they did is they just took like, okay, cool, American Idol. Now imagine if I was just watching this, if I could just pay 10 bucks to ask a question. And oh, the game is live. That's, good. that's what Twitch is doing with battle rap and everything. So just the growth of it, bro. I'm yeah. Happy. Yeah. No. No. You it's deserve it, man. This was a really good event. Uh, I want to pub personally in front of you. Thank you for allowing me to come man, and do my you, thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Know, I always say the, the the medium battle rap is so overlooked as the important the importance of it. You know, mm -hmm. you guys help push our stories, our roles, the narratives, and the artists, the interviews, like you guys are such an integral part to battle rap, and I think you guys don't get the love you deserve, man. Appreciate so, that. Appreciate nah. you coming through, over yeah. showing love, and just being an overall good person, bro. No, nah, no, nah, I appreciate it, man. Man, some of the best battles in the city happen in my city, Detroit City, organic, yeah. king of the dot Grand Prix, and as always, keep it battle rap. Love, man. Yes. Thank you. My guy.